Hello everybody, this is Etho, and welcome back guys to another episode of our Let's Play series. Uh, guess what guys, I am, I'm very happy right now. <laughs> you know, I just finished recording that snapshot video, and I went back on uh, into my game here to try to do some other stuff, uh, goof around with some of the new features, and it updated. There was an update right after I finished that. Um, cause I was worried. It's like, how many weeks am I going to have to wait before I actually get to play with these new features? Cause I, you know, some people, they like checking out the new stuff in creative for me to really enjoy it. I love like playing in my world here, um, and like exploring in the world here. And, uh, cause that terrain I find is permanent. You know, the stuff I get from the woodland mansion is going to be permanent. You know, it just means a lot more to me that way. You know, if you die, it, it hurts a lot more if it's real <laughs> than if you're flying around in creative. Uh, so yeah, I have updated, guys. 16W39B, this latest snapshot seems to have fixed the crashing problems I was having. as has mostly to do with the furnace, and I had some, like, ticking hopper thing that was happening. That seems to be gone now. And I've looked around here, haven't found too many issues. There's one weird thing where arrows have particle effects they shouldn't. Alright, and they don't seem to be despawning. That's kind of normal, though. The other big thing I have noticed is... Not all my flower pots, but some of my flower pots have uh, lost their flowers. What? <laughs> Wait a second. Oh, it's there! It's just not showing it. Ew. Okay, maybe I don't even need to replace these. Maybe I'll just wait and see if they come back later. But uh, anyways, guys, I think what I would like to do in uh, today's episode is mostly focus on uh, some of the features of the snapshot I skipped over in my in my video there. Uh, and especially today, I want to go try find one of those woodland mansions because I haven't seen those yet. I, I was kind of waiting to do it in my Let's Play. Um, so let's do that. I've already been to our village here today uh, a little while ago. I've been trying to get them to... I killed all the... All the old crummy villagers. <laughs> Trying to get some new population growing here. Uh, did a bunch of trading with them. Fed them some bread. Now they're making hearts and stuff again. I saw there was a baby white coat. Wait, was it you? He might not have grown up yet. But there's a good chance it's going to be a cartographer. And then we can get the map from him. I hear him. There he is. Okay, he hasn't grown up yet. What is that? Is that a husk? I don't know what that is. <laughs> it's got to be a husk, right? How close are we to the surface? Not close. What is that? Oh, it's a zombie villager. Do they have new sounds? I did not know that. I've got TNT on my cape. Oh, he grew. He grew. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Been waiting for like five minutes here. All right, dude. So I think it's going to be a 50% chance, right? Because it's either going to be a librarian or a cartographer. I think. Here we go. Ah! <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's not bad, actually. Sharpness 5 for 26. That's a good book. That's a book I want, actually. Because it's really hard to get sharpness by enchanting. Okay, here we go. Here we go. So it's uh, 17 to 71, and that was 20, 26. So that's 9 over the absolute minimum. So that's a good price. That's not bad. All right, guys, so change of strategy here. Uh, there was actually a lot riding on that one villager there, because now if I want to try to get another cartographer, I'm going to have to wait a very long time <laughs> and then have a risk of failing again. So we're, we're actually going to go out and explore, try to find a new village, probably do it in no time in comparison. Um, so the off this way is kind of like uncharted territory in my world. Pretty sure, anyways. Let's see. 
I'm expecting it's going to turn from flat to crazy here in no time. Because I never go out this way. Oh, actually, maybe I do. No, here we go. Here we go. All right. And if we if we do this, there's a good chance we'll find uh, the llamas as well, which would be awesome. Because what is this? This is a forest. Oh, and uh, we have planes. This is perfect. Oh, snap. Or even a donkey, man. I haven't been able to find a donkey. <laughs> and I've looked so many times for one. So if we could find a donkey, that would be great. Okay, here we go. Oh, look at this. This is cool. <laughs> Alright. Oh, and it comes out over here. Darn, I could have flew through that. That would have been amazing. Um... Hmm, finding lots of cows, sheep, and pigs. Not even horses or anything. Oh, right in the cliff. Oh, we got a swamp over here. Oh, dark oak forest! Dark oak forest, holy smokes! Only 2,000 blocks away! The only one of these I have found in my world is like 10,000 blocks away, so that is awesome. There might even be a mansion here. Oh, we don't even need the cartographer. I'm the I'm the master explorer. <laughs> All right, let's check this out. I'm going to sleep real quick here. All right. Oh, it looks like it's a fair size, too. That's good. I'm not seeing a mansion, though. Even even just having this near my place though is awesome because this is one of my favorite biomes in the game. I love the grass color here. <laughs> it's my favorite thing about the biome, if you didn't know. Uh, and if I ever want to use it, this is where we're going to be building probably. Oh, snap. All right. This is a problem with flying, by the way. If you're exploring new terrain, the game starts lagging pretty bad and then you can't shoot your bow. <laughs> so... Uh, Gonna be going on foot here a little bit. Let's see. How cool would it be if it was like right at the very top of that island there? The mansion. Probably not. I don't think we're gonna get one here. There's some more planes over here too, even. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> yeah, no mansion, I don't think. It's not looking like it. Oh, actually, it keeps going here a little bit. There's still a chance. Still a chance. I want to check out these planes first. Ooh. Oh, yeah, didn't something change with the trees, too? Like, I remember seeing something in the patch notes that, like, these big trees weren't generating for some reason. And now they made them more common, maybe? I'm not sure. This is the planes biome, right? And we have a tree here. Yeah, we got a big giant tree right in the plains. That's cool. Llama? <gasps> village! Village! Yes! Okay, we found a village. That's something. <laughs> yes! Alright. Now, I did bring the stuff to do trading, and, and hopefully we'll find a cartographer. I haven't gotten a blacksmith chest in a long time. Let's see what we get. Gold horse armor. Nice. And a saddle. I'll take that. Cool. All right, and here we go. Is this it? No. <laughs> What's your unbreaking three for thirteen? Not bad, actually. Um. Oh, it's a green coat. We got a nitwit. They actually are spawning. Oh, that's awesome. They don't have a trade though. I don't know if they're ever gonna get one, or if they're just kind of like a random, random dude. Hello. Thorns too, okay. Alright guys, so I think I've been exploring for about an hour. <laughs> My wings need a repair here pretty soon. I remember though, there's a dark oak forest by our uh, desert outpost over here. This is where I get my sand. Uh, so we're going to check this out. Okay. We need a mansion to show up here very soon. <laughs> or we're probably not going to get one here either. Oh snap. Not a lot of luck with the villages. I found, I think, one or two more villages, and they all had librarians. Here we go. 
Here we go. This is it. Where is he? Where is he? Are there really no librarians here? Not even one? Oh, we got beetroot. Oh, there's a whole bunch of houses down here, too. Let's check this out. Mm. Well, that bunny died. <laughs> there's a house way up there. <laughs> oh, and he fell! No! <laughs> oh, there's still one guy in there, though. I see the door moving. Wait a second. Is this our librarian? It is... I thought I saw the door opening and closing. Did I not? Oh, that's weird. Okay, here's our cut. Right over here. Yeah, I'm pretty convinced these mansions are, are rare now. Like, I originally was expecting, like, one per mushroom forest biome here. And... This is our third or fourth one we've checked out now. No mansion. So they're probably like, you know, 10,000 blocks apart from each other at least. Got some random trees up there. It's awesome. I've been trying to check low as well because I'm not sure how they're going to uh, generate in our amplified terrain here. They might do something weird and be like underground or something. I say something a lot, don't I? <laughs> All right, uh, good news though, I did find one more village up here. I haven't checked it out yet. This could be the one. So I'm going to have to probably rely on these uh, cartographers for the treasure map. I don't think I'll find it without it. All right, where was that? Up over here. I think this is a new village. Although we're kind of on the edge of stuff we've been to, I think. So we'll see. Got bunnies. Purple dudes. Oh, snap. I'm going to have to cut most of the exploring out of this video, though, because, like, we would be on episode 8 or 9 already. <laughs> I have gone a long distance. My world's going to be huge after this. Here we go. Okay, come on, man. Be a cartographer. Do something with your life. Yes! Oh, yes. Finally. Okay, you stay inside. Be safe. <laughs> it's times like this it's I wonder why haven't I made a villager breeder yet like that's the one build I'm like I don't know if I really need it and then times like this really wish I had one uh, exploring is fun though too but you know you do it for two hours or three hours it's like kind of want to find the guy already <laughs> okay so we got him very happy Oh, no. No, you're going to take all my emeralds. I don't have many emeralds. I got to keep the compass. Oh, you jerk. Okay. <laughs> like, I uh, I left all my emeralds over at the, the witch farm, I think. Dude, that costed 10. That was pretty bad. Oh, and it unlocked it. Awesome. Okay, so 27. I can afford it just barely here. Nice. Okay, we got it. Woodland Explorer map. Let's check it out. Ooh, it's at the bottom. So that's going to be south, I'm pretty sure, right? If we're facing north. The top is north, I think, and then it would be this direction. Okay. All right, guys. Check this out. On the way here, I think I found another dark oak forest. Doesn't have a mansion, but look at this. That is... That's a big tunnel. Alright, guys. So, some good news here. I flew... Or, I was flying southeast, sort of. And you can see the cursor is on the left there. Kind of in the middle of the map now. Uh-oh. Big hill. <laughs> uh, so, that now I'm just flying straight east. And we should hit it in no time here, I think. Uh, I'm about 6,000 blocks out, though, so it is pretty far from my spawn. Should be there soon, though. Just got an achievement! <laughs> Adventuring time! Is this the biomes one? Oh, no, how do I look at it? Achievement, discover all biomes. Oh, snap, I did it! I was trying to figure out what biome I discovered. 
And I think it's this over here, Savannah Plateau Mountain. I think it was the one I was missing. <laughs> Look at this. These sheep just generated in, and they were all, three of them facing perfectly straight in a line. <laughs> Exploration has hit a bit of a snag here. <laughs> I keep running into this Mega Taiga forest stuff, which at first I was like, oh, cool, a Mega Taiga. And it's been Mega Taiga, like, for thousands and thousands of blocks now. Uh, problem is, it's like the laggiest of all the terrain generation, so I kind of have to sit and wait for it to, to finish before I can get out of here. Uh-huh. So on the way, I've been, like, collecting coal and stuff for XP because my wings are going to break. And <laughs> You remember when I said we we're, we're close? We're soon going to be there. I'm, like, 9,000 blocks out now. Um... So it seems like we have to travel the furthest this direction. Ah, yes! <laughs> we have done it! We have arrived to our destination. So you can see that my player on the map here, he's got the big dot now instead of the little dot. That means we're close. I see dark oak trees. And we are 97 by 65... 9700 by 6500 blocks away. So I think this is the closest one, right? They give you the closest one, I'm pretty sure. So these are spread out quite a bit in the world, it seems. And take your guesses. Is it going to be underground or is it going to be above ground? I'm going to say underground. I think the Amplified might mess with it a little bit. We'll see. Or it might just be this big giant cobblestone column up in the air. One or the other, I'm guessing. But I'm going to say underground just, just because. Okay, where are we? Getting a little bit of lag. Hmm... So I still got to go east, north. I went too far south. I got to go northeast this way. No. Llamas. No way. Stream hills. Oh man, I thought I thought it was in the forest they generate. Not oh, one of them died. <laughs> I've been checking all the forests, every s or not forests, uh, plains. I've been checking every single plains biome. Why are they in extreme hills? I thought they were... Hmm. Alright, interesting. We found llamas. That's cool. Haven't found any donkeys this whole trip. Oh, we got the mesa over there, too. Weird. Yeah, it should be, like, right up over this mountain here, which means it's not part of that dark oak forest we found. There must be another one up this way. There's so many llamas here. There's llamas everywhere. That's awesome. Mm, yeah, dark oak forest up there. Okay. Gotta be close. Still don't see it, though. Ah. Uh, man. This area is very nice, though. I liked having the mesa next to this. Got all kinds of cool arches. Oh man, can barely fly. <laughs> uh, it's got to be up here, right? Oh, it, we're showing up on the map. This truly is the the exploration update or whatever. I have not explored this much in my world, like ever. This is the most. Um, not because we're going to some new biome or something. We're going through biomes, you know, we've had in the game forever, but. Just to find something that's 10,000 blocks away is crazy. I'm like right at it. Oh, it's up there. It's up there. Oh, I see it. Well, this is it. We're going inside. Does it have an entrance? I haven't seen one yet. Uh, doesn't look like it has an entrance, does it? It's kind of weird. Oh no, over here, over here. Cool. And it's, oh, it's dark inside these things. Kind of, there's some torches. Oh man. <laughs> I really don't know what to expect, because I haven't, like, uh, tried fighting the, the villagers or anything like that yet. I did bring some decent armor, uh, just not a chest piece. So we'll see how this goes. And surprisingly, haven't seen any of them yet. It's all normal mobs. I thought it would be like loaded with those guys. But maybe just in special rooms? Oh. 
There's there's a lot of mobs in here though. For sure. Oh, there's one up there. I see it. <laughs> oh. So many mobs. Oh, I hear. No, that's that's these guys. I'm, I'm not used to that new sound for them. I keep thinking it's the illagers whenever I hear it. Okay, first room, we have some wool here. Nothing too fancy. Let's go down the hallway here. Oh, we got a like a weird mushroom room. With a chest. Okay. <laughs> really? <laughs> I got all excited. Uh, nothing's going to fall on my head here, hopefully. Nope, oh, witches. Alright, very cool. Can we go upstairs here? No, it's like a little uh, little roof thing over top. Nothing more to it. Mm. I think that's one of them, right? Yeah, here we go. Okay. How bad are you? I'm gonna eat first. Okay, he only does, uh, what was that, heart and a half with my armor? That's not bad. And he drops emeralds. Aha. It seemed like I got more than one emerald there. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> oh, that is cool. I like that. That actually looks pretty good. And you know, I've never seen anything like that done before where people just put a bunch of saplings on the wall. It looks pretty cool. And you can pick them up too. That's, that's nice. Uh, dark oak saplings are actually pretty hard to get normally, so I'll take those. Uh, what is this? I thought this was going to be a staircase. We have a banner. Okay, it's a little random. Oh, a chest. Is it a troll chest? It's a real chest. Oh, baby. Chain, chain chest plate. I'm going to take that. Um, yeah, I think I'll leave the rest of that stuff. Okay, it's like a pumpkin in a room. Kind of weird. I'll, I guess... That's Mojang for you, though. Okay. This is like... These rooms are very random. <laughs> oh, this is like a blacksmith sort of room? We got an anvil. Oh, and it's like a broken anvil already. Darn it. Mojang cheaping out on us. Can't even get a real anvil. Very damaged. Ouch. Okay, here we go. Another guy. You know, I don't... Oh. I was going to say, I don't really want to kill all of them. Just in case I want to bring some of them home. 33 to 35. Yeah, I got two there. Is this like pixel art? <laughs> What's going on in here? Oh, it is pixel art. That's awesome. <laughs> that must be the invoker, right? He's got like a, a wand or something. See the top of his shoulder there. Cool. I better start collecting this iron because we might get a bunch. And I do like iron. Is there anything inside of this guy? Oh. Nope. No brains by the looks of it. Oh, this is where we blast it through. Okay, I got you. Cool. So we went through about half of the first floor here. This hallway is shorter. Hmm. So there must be a room in there then. Let's see, what do we have here? A little uh little gathering room, maybe like an office here. You got your your big computer desk with flowers on, no computer. And this is like for the the boss of the office. He sits on the high chair. Awesome. So there's a garden room. With wheat, very random again. Oh, and it's gonna get blown up, darn it. <laughs> Oh, an actual tree room. Oh, here he comes. Okay, can we trap one of these guys? They're actually really fast, aren't they? You, sir, you are going to live in the office if I can if I make it happen. Oh, no, I failed. you got to be really careful I don't die or I'm going to be so mad. That is a long trip home. Okay. Oh, come on. <laughs> I really got to eat something. All right. He's so fast. It's crazy. There we go. We got him. Did we go in here? No, we didn't really. 
So we got a tree and like a reservoir. <laughs> I wonder if they like thought this is what this room is going to be before they built it or if they just start placing blocks. Yeah, that is definitely the invoker, right? Oh, storage room. Hello. These are all going to be empty, though. I'm almost certain. Yeah. <laughs> of course, I got to check every one, though. But I don't think there's actually going to be something here. Got, like, a flower up there. Okay. Yeah, all empty. If you wanted to, like, take over one of these mansions and then live in it, that's kind of cool, because then you got your storage room pre-built for you. Whoa. Like a prison. With redstone. And a table. We got a cauldron. Also pretty random. No no prisoners inside, though. This, uh... This room here that I hear the guy in doesn't have a door. Alright. Well, let's go inside, then. Huh. Or am I hearing a zombie villager again? Could just be like an empty room. No, there is something in here. Okay. No door on this one. No invoker either. That was a zombie villager. Okay. Oh! Iron Axe Efficiency 1. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I think I'll leave that for the next guy to come by. Just, I'll use this one instead. Okay, I think we got the first floor cleared here. Now we're going to go to the second. Things are going to get crazy. Maybe, maybe not. I do like the star staircase they did here. It's pretty cool. I've always been a sucker for these ones that split, though, and go left and right. And then you got the the railing and stuff. It's pretty cool. Nice viewing windows. I heard a lot of, like, zombies and stuff when I was uh, on the first floor, so... I don't know. It's kind of quiet now <laughs> that I'm up here. Okay, that looks like a library. This is a bedroom with an old classic bed. This is what people did before beds were, like, actually in the game. And that bedroom's destroyed. Oh, it's only one thick, too. Okay. Very thin floorboards here. This is... Yeah, it's a library. Okay, so they're like little sitting areas. You can read your books. <laughs> For a second, it's like, oh, this looks like a restaurant. And it's like, no. People sit down in libraries, too. Okay. Lots of books here. I might go through after this and, and take what I want. Like, those books look pretty appealing to me. Uh, oh, here's our way up to the next floor. Okay. Is that... Uh... <gasps> okay, it's one of the dudes. Why was he pink? They don't chase you. Oh, really? I thought they would like be all over you in your face. Oh, when they turn red, they charge you. I see. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> it's like, yeah! Little charge sound. Ho! Okay, that was pretty cool. Whoa! <laughs> so they totally ignore blocks, don't they? If I kill them all, are they gone for good? Whoa! Okay, that's about a heart damage. <laughs> they give XP. Whoa. Oh, that's so cool. I don't want to kill him, just in case he's the only one. So we'll see if we can trap him. <laughs> I like those guys. Alright, we're going in. We're going in here. For realsies. Oh, it's like a little conqueror room. It's got the map on the table. So what does he all do? Oh no. There's creepers in here. Did he summon these guys or were they in there? Well, I'm actually getting hurt quite bad. 
I didn't kill that one. He just died on his own. That was weird. Oh, okay. I want to get rid of these creepers because they're going to wreck everything otherwise. Oh, I didn't even see that one. <laughs> kill the creeper and there's another one right behind it. Just want to watch him for a bit and see what he all does. So he spawns these guys. And they kind of float around. They charge you. And he's got this uh, crazy snake snake attack. Whoa! Okay, if you get close to him. That's cool. He's <laughs> trying to catch him in a boat here. And these little guys went inside. Yeah, look at that. Okay, so they're taking damage. They must have a limited lifespan then. They just die over time. Interesting. You could probably make a pretty crazy XP farm with this if you had a few of these guys, right? Because he su summons a lot of these little dudes and they drop XP. Hmm. Alright, we gotta see if we can catch them this time. <laughs> oh, he ran away. He knows what I'm up to. Oh, another one took the spot. Darn it. <laughs> okay, I don't think he's going to leave this room. I'm just going to block it off. Eventually, he'll touch himself. All right, let's keep going here. Uh, if there's more of them, I'll kill one. I think they drop the, the totem when you kill them. Wouldn't mind having at least one of those. All right, so... <laughs> a giant chicken in here. Interesting. Any eggs inside? I can't believe I'm doing this right now. This is weird. Nope, nothing inside. Uh, is this a secret room? Oh, there's like a dead end hallway here. Man, the number of zombies in this mansion. Oh, kind of got trapped there. It's insane. Like they, they find you from everywhere. Oh, hello, ninja, ninja skeleton. No ninja creepers. That's good. So we got another library. There was no chest in here before, and I don't think there's... Oh! Oh, man. oh snappers. <laughs> that was almost really bad. There was a creeper up there. This is nice. This is a pretty nice room. little conference room. Or waiting room. Oh. Might be my imagination. It sure feels like there's more zombie villagers now. And... Uh, another bedroom. Dual beds. Computer desk. Okay. Oh, did I look at him? No. Whoa. Whoa. Was it you? <laughs> Something got me from behind there. No, never. Didn't go in this one. A lot of conference rooms on this uh, floor, it seems. What do you think this is? I'm not sure. Like, it looks like a table, but there's no chairs. Kind of interesting. Oh, maybe it's like a banquet table. Like, this is where they put the food. You go up, get your food, and then you go sit down. I could see that. That makes sense. Yeah, we'll call this the banquet room. <laughs> I'm trying to think of names for each of these rooms. It's kind of hard for some of them. Oh, another bedroom. And I think this is the last room on this floor. It is the... Wedding room. The, the bride and the grooms stand over here, and I don't know. <laughs> what is this? It's like an arch. Still in here? He's still there. Oh, and he is in the boat, right? I think we got him in the boat. <laughs> nice. All right, so we'll leave him be. We'll leave him be. He's had a hard day. Uh, the, I think I might have missed one room in the corner here. Let's just double check. Or two rooms. Yeah. Oh, man. Big banquet room, right? Oh, and another another one of the dudes in here. Okay, I'm going to block. Oh, I wanted to keep you inside, too. We'll try to get this guy inside, and then we'll block it off. Very cool. It could get uh, pretty rough if you had, like, five of these guys inside. But I saw someone say it was, like, they were as strong as withers or something. And I haven't seen that myself. These axe dudes are probably even more dangerous than the vokers. 
as long as I stay like healed up here, or fed, fed up, <laughs> I don't think I'll, I'll die at all. All right, we'll try getting back inside. And then we'll go upstairs here. There we go. So we got two guys in there. Let's go to the third floor where all the sound is coming from. Better eat up here first. Okay. So there's a zombie trap of some sort over here. <laughs> they all are falling into there, I think, and then getting stuck. That would probably kill me if I jumped down. There's a lot of them. A lot of them. We get them? I think we got them. That's a lot of zombies. <laughs> oh, it's just like supports for the staircase. Nothing else. Alright, let's get out of here. Still hearing a lot of zombies upstairs here. So many zombies. Now oh, another... Weird. Um... Um, I think you're missing a block or so. <laughs> it's alright. No house is perfect. So, this is like the master bedroom. With a broken desk, because I blew it up. I think this is the master bedroom. You got the big bed. Very nice. Sha oh, it's like, uh... Got some banners up there, too. Like an... What do you call that? An emblem, or... Crest of the family sort of thing, maybe. And this is... Oh, you sneaky guy. I don't want to kill him. <laughs> there's a thing, if you guys didn't know, there's an Easter egg with them. You can name them Johnny. Here's Johnny. And then I believe they attack hostile mobs, so you could use them for farms and, and stuff. So I'm trying to keep a few of them around. Don't really want to go looking for like tons of these mansions. They, they're pretty hard to find. So I don't want to waste these guys, you know. Okay, another one of those rooms. We saw that one. Let's block them off in there. Ah, uh, yeah, we saw one of these. We've got another invoker. Cool. Oh, carpet. Carpet block. <laughs> that works. And. You know, I was expecting, like, a little more treasure, to be honest. This is mostly... Not that there's anything wrong with this, but it's mostly just, like, checking out the rooms. Uh, which are starting to duplicate themselves. Triple bedroom! Now, I haven't seen that. This is a new one. Pretty cool. Oh, I didn't even notice that. There's a pixel art of the guy at the top of the stairs there. Yeah, we saw this one. We got a banquet room. And that's the end of the hallway, right? Oh, no. Here we go. Another banquet room, side by side. These guys love to feast. Where are you coming from? Master bedroom. Are we at the top? Is that it? I don't see another... Huh. I don't see another staircase to go up. Uh, yeah, I came out of the window there. Cool. Well, I think we checked it all out, guys. I think that's it. Uh, it's a cool little thing. Not super excited about the dungeon stuff here, but... <laughs> you know, I like getting new mobs in the game. The, the new mobs are cool. The Invoker and Vindicators and that kind of stuff. Uh, it'd be nice if they would spawn other places. Uh-huh. Anyways... I think I'm ready for the long journey home now. I'm not sure how to do it. Cows on the roof. <laughs> Probably got to go through the nether, honestly. I don't really want to fly back. My wings have almost totally repaired themselves, though. Aha. So it's just enough to make a portal here, and I'll have one left over to make a flint and steel. Hmm. <laughs> Do I do it? I don't know about this one. This is like do or die. I'm going to start with a bit of a ramp up here, I think. Get some speed going. If I mess this up, I'm going to go right into the lava. Or if I hit my head on it, that could be bad too. Okay, we made it. Phew. Alright, uh, where do we got to go? Yeah, this way. 
This isn't bad. We're almost home already. Wide open spaces. I like it. Uh oh. Oh, I almost shot him. <laughs> How are we not home yet? I don't know. There we are. We're back. All right, guys. Well, I made it back home here, safe and sound. A uh, little bit of an oddball episode today. I hope you enjoyed it. I don't do the whole exploring thing too often. <laughs> and uh, before next episode, I'm going to try to raid like 10 end cities at least for the shulker shells. Um, so probably do that off camera, though, unless for some reason you guys really want to see it. But I'll try to keep track of all the loot I get, and then I can show you that at least, at the very least. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, anyways, let's wrap it up here. It says, Ethos Lab, I found a glitch. It works great with wings. You put a slime block one block into the ground, put lava on it, and then slabs around it to keep the lava in, and it shoots you so far into the air. Their air. <laughs> I forgot to underline it. Oops. Uh, okay, well, it sounds like a troll, but I'm up for testing things. I brought a fire resistance potion just in case, but we might need to do it without it. It might be the damage tick. Okay, thankfully, my armor's pretty good. <laughs> okay. Mm, do you have to hop on it? He wasn't super clear on how to do it. Oh, I missed. Um, okay, fire resistance time. Like, I'm, I kind of, like, hover on it, right? But it's not launching me. I am also in a different uh, version than he was, so maybe it doesn't work anymore. Alright, well, I tried it. <laughs> Unless I'm doing it wrong, I don't know. Uh, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. I'm off to go do some more exploring. I also want to expand my ice road so I can get those llamas back nice and easy and maybe the, the illagers we found today. But until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.